everybody, it's D again, and we are celebrating a very special D Artist of the Month because we have the legendary Minty Fresh, na fresh, na fresh, <laughs> here with us today, and she's gonna be transforming me into a badass. <laughs> so join us as we go through her technique um, and all the little things that she does. Let's go. So what look are you gonna be doing on me? Uh, I'll be doing the usual makeup routine ko when I when I do drag. So, ayun lang, very sparkly, very babae. Make me as beautiful as <laughs> you, please. Ako ay talaga nga mag yeah, ng do whatever. I always wanted high eyebrows, pero hindi ako binigaya ng just na mm -hmm. matas. Pero yung pang-cover ko ng brows, medyo mahirap siya tanggalin. That's okay. So. Transformed Minty. I love my look. Like you were telling me earlier off cam, makeup is like an armor or like um, pag nagme makeup tayo, tos anja na siya. It's like you're a new character. So talking about character, what would you name me? Your new drag baby. Ano bang you feel mo ngayon? I feel I feel delicious with a D E E. Do you feel fresh? I do feel fresh. So I am deliciously fresh. Yeah. As your daughter, but I do want people to get to know you more. I'm sure everybody knows who you are already, but for those of you who are new fans of Minty, I just want to get to know how you fell in love with drag. In terms of drag, um, kami ng best friend ko kasi. We love to dress up. We love the nightlife. Yes. Before, wala pa akong idea what really dr drag is or ko ano yung purpose niya. Siguro yun na yun naging start and naging gateway for me to be interested in the world of drag. Because yes. I really wanted to be a model. Fashion talaga yung interest ko nung time na yun. And feeling ko hindi ko siya ma-achieve because, because I'm gay. Like, so? And I mean at that at time. At that time, yeah, yeah, true. It was a different time. Um, Na-achieve ko yung dream ko through drag. Parang Best ganun. feeling ever. Yeah, so, so yun yung parang ano ko siya. Kinakonsider ko na biggest and pinaka first kong drag gig. Parang your uh, mm -hmm. debut mo, ganun, yeah. your debut as a drag queen. What's the difference between Minty Fresh on stage in full warrior paint and, and gear and Minty Fresh off screen in regular daytime? Si Minty gusto niya center of attention siya. Very contravida pa nga yung feeling ko. Pagka <laughs> bagay bagay Minty, na sa <laughs> <laughs> yung talaga yung peg ko, like, contrabidas, villains, yun yung parang nag-inspire sa akin to create this persona. Tapos pagka min naman ako, very, ano lang ako, parang wallflower ba yung tawag doon? Pag nasa no, club. No, I think you still shine. Like, even when you came in, you already had this aura about you. Just to reassure you that you are no wallflower, even off off the stage because you have a glow. I mean, it's a quiet confidence, but still, may glow anywhere she goes. I actually, I don't know what I'm but my phone in question. What is tucking? How did you learn how to tuck? And who taught you how to tuck? <laughs> Self thought. Self thought. Actually, how old naman, are you now? Hindi naman alam mo tingin ng tao. It's hard, pero hindi. It's painful. Painful. It's painful. Depends sa 
sa way of talking, iba-iba kasi siya eh. Yeah. Like ako, ako nagmamaraming stockings lang ako, it's okay. And it's done. Yung iba kasi nagtitip pa, may talking pant- panties pa sila. And iba-iba kasi yung the way they do it. True. Iba-iba. It's Pride Month and I was able to catch you. Uh, how are you celebrating Pride Month? I know you must be so busy right now with all your shows. Yeah, very busy, very tiring. Pero syempre, if you feel tired and busy ng Pride Month, as a drag queen, ibig sabihin you're booked. You're yes, fully booked. Yes, booked and so, busy. I'm not complaining. Yes. Ang <laughs> um, sarap sa feeling ng Pride Month for us, lalo na sa mga drag queens. Kasi ang daming opportunities for you and yun naman yung point ng Pride Month is to hindi lang siya just a celebration but a reminder for everyone at hindi lang sa LGBT community na there are still struggles mm-hmm. dun sa community na we need to address and yes. yeah. you should be kinder to everybody mm-hmm. everybody is going through something that you don't know about so yes. compassion is a big thing acceptance understanding and talking about that what would you say to the younger generation out there who are curious about drag or playing dress up or you know getting their little feet wet so what would you say to the younger generation out there gawin niyo lang kasi ganun yung ginawa ko i just did drag wala akong walang nagpush sa akin follow your heart yeah follow your heart follow your, your dreams kung passion niyo talaga yan and you think it's really for you then go for it kasi Life is too short, right? Speaking of somebody that didn't give up and now is recognized internationally, mm-hmm. I think that that's, those are gems for you guys. So, <laughs> I know the minty in me has totally taken over and I totally love this look. It's giving me um, Christina Aguilera-ish vibes mm-hmm. as well. Do you feel that? Yeah. And um, again, we just want to say thank you thank for taking you so time much. with me. I really did love this <laughs> transformation. Next time, ako naman mag to transform sa yo into me. <laughs> uh, do you have a message to everybody there for uh, Pride Month? Um, happy Happy Pride Month, everyone! And Pride Month doesn't stop sa June. So let's always celebrate Pride every day. Yes. <laughs> You know, it's all about loving everybody every day and sharing a piece of ourselves. Mm-hmm. Thank you for sharing a piece thank of yourself you so with me. I'm so happy we got this time. I love my look and thank you for being the artist of the month. Love you guys. Happy Pride Month. We love you. Thank Bye. you.